Yo, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm really pleased to be announcing a new product that I've developed. Uh, as you may know, uh, the last product that I released was the Naked Blackmagic 4K. Uh, I've had a lot of really great feedback on it. Uh, I've been shipping them all over the world, or as far as Japan and USA. Um, it's been really cool to see uh, so many other people building it up and uh, enjoying the benefits that a Naked Blackmagic setup offers. I really enjoyed developing the Naked Blackmagic 4K and uh, yeah, I wanted to do something else, something a bit more challenging maybe. So the next logical step really was for me to work on the Blackmagic 6K. Um, so yeah, this is a this is a Pocket 6K. This is like the big brother to the Blackmagic 4K. Obviously, it's 6K resolution instead of 4K. So that requires a bigger sensor. This is running a Super 35 sensor rather than the MFT sensor in the Blackmagic 4K. So you're using a bigger sensor means that you get better low light performance uh, you've got obviously got higher resolution with the same Blackmagic RAW 3 to 1 ratio 500 megabit bit rate <laughs> video uh, so yeah this I'd say little but it is actually pretty chunky uh, this camera yeah very very powerful bit of kit let's go onto the bench and I'll go into some more details on what I've managed to come up with Okay, so taking a look at the uh, Blackmagic 4 6K now, uh, as you can see, it's really, really similar camera to the 4K. In fact, like the grip, the buttons, uh, the rear screen, everything about it pretty much is the same as the 4K, apart from one quite obvious, <laughs> quite obvious difference, which is this huge. Uh, lens mount on the front. Now, yeah, the Blackmagic 6K uses the Canon EF mount. Rather than using uh, the MFT mount of like the 4K uses, where you can use these really tiny uh, wide angle lenses that don't weigh very much, the 6K unfortunately. Uh, uses the Canon EF mount and yeah as you can see hopefully I can get some light in there as you can see it has uh, this is called the flange <laughs> uh, and as you can see it's really really deep flange in comparison to an MFT mount um, so yeah that is the main challenge that I faced when creating the Naked 6K uh, because yeah, so the first thing is that you've, you're you going to have to build this rather large lens mount uh, on the front of the sensor to get such a huge distance from the sensor that you need for Canon EF mount lenses to work. Uh, the second issue with Canon EF mount is the lenses themselves. Now, I don't have the actual perfect lens that most people would uh, have to use with an EF mount um, lens camera when flying FPV obviously you want a nice wide angle lens uh, but this one is like the budget option uh, it goes right down to 11mm f4.2 uh, f2.8 it's a zoom lens but yeah it goes still goes really wide and is really nice quality but as you can see compared to an MFT lens it's quite ridiculous how big it is um, and yeah this is basically the same size as the optimal Lau Laowa, uh, uh the Laowa equivalent the 12mm Laowa EF mount lens is not that dissimilar in size to this one uh, and the lens the Laowa lens weighs 610 grams. Now, the Naked Blackmagic 4K with the lens on it doesn't even weigh that much. Um, 
that yeah the whole 4k setup with the lens on weighs less than the Canon EF mount lens that you have to use on the 6k so obviously there's a lot more weight to have to deal with um, and a lot more weight to have to support so that was the main challenge with creating a naked naked black magic 6k okay so this is what I have come up with uh, as you can see it's actually mounted to a drone so, but please don't ask any questions about the drone that's just a prototype this is my naked Blackmagic 6k um, as you can see I've overcome the huge flange that you have to have on most 6k setups and as you can see on my lens cap here this is actually the Naked Blackmagic 6K-E. Now, what does E stand for? You give up? Okay, let me show you. E stands... <laughs> e stands for E-mount. So what I have managed to create is a naked Blackmagic 6K that is fitted with a Sony E-mount, E-lens mount, E-mount e lens attachment. Um, so what does that mean in terms of lenses? Well, that means we can get away with using one of these. Now this is the lower nine millimeter Sony E mount lens and it only weighs 210 grams and it's also nine millimeters which is wider than 12 millimeters so this nine millimeter lens on the super 35 sensor gives you a full frame equivalent of 13.5 millimeters um, let me just pop this lens on So, so yeah, as you can see, uh, this tiny little lens is quite a lot, <laughs> quite a lot smaller than what you would have to use on a 6K setup. And I have been testing the hell out of this to make sure that there's no vignetting or any strangeness going on. It all works perfectly, and I will be able to sh put some flight footage overlaying for you at the end of the video um, so yeah in order to do this I'm not exactly gonna tell you I'm not gonna tell you exactly how I've managed to do it but obviously I've had to get the Sony E mount uh, attachment from somewhere now instead of having to carry a lens that weighs more than the entire 4k setup including a lens you're only actually adding uh, an additional 50 grams over the 4k setup um, so maybe 60 grams. I haven't actually got a final weight on it. Uh, <laughs> I need to take it off the off my drone here to uh, actually weigh it up. But yeah, it's 50 to 60 grams heavier overall with this lens combo compared to the 4K with a 7.5 mm lens. Right <laughs> there you go. Uh, hopefully you like what I've managed to come up with. Um, from the, I've only actually told a couple of people because obviously I didn't want it to the word to get out and other people to be doing it straight away, but yeah, I fully uh, hope that my work is going to inspire other creators of Naked Black Magics to do the same or similar. Um, I mean, it works really well. Uh, yeah, so all the parts that I need to put start putting together the 6K kits are on the way to me, um, but there is a pre-order up on the website now so if you want to make sure that you get in with the first batch then you can pre-order now it'll also kind of help me out to know if i need to quickly order more parts straight away or not um, unfortunately it does cost a bit more than the 4k that's because the uh, the e-mount i've had to I've had to salvage them from something else and it was not cheap to get enough to do a full batch and actually launch the product otherwise I would only be able to do a couple here and a couple there um, but I've managed to 
yeah, I've paid a little bit extra and managed to get a bunch of them. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I've got enough to supply demand. I'm not expecting it to be too crazy. Fully understand that it's a very expensive camera and the, making it naked is a really expensive setup. So honestly, unless you have work already that is asking for 6K footage and you will need something lightweight that rivals Komodo footage, um, just go for the 4K uh, unless you really need that that extra that extra 2K of footage. As always, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, there's links in the description to check out the 4K and to check out the 6K on the website and the videos I've done in the past and all that stuff. So, yeah, until the next one, laters. Yeah.